and welcome back to another episode. Today I'm going to be sharing some of my thrifting tips and tricks and give you guys a little haul of some things that I've got recently for the farmhouse. So we'll start from this side. I actually thrifted this little plate stand for like a dollar. I found these two little plates, um, two of the same, and they ended up being like $2.50 for both of them. They're made by Allerton's, England, Kenilworth. Um, they're just super old and cool china pieces. It's the willow pattern, which was very popular back in the day. And um, I just thought two of these would look nice on any shelf or any kind of little display that I'm doing. I just absolutely love blue and white anything. Um, you'll see I have a few pieces that are blue and white. I just think these two colors together are just so beautiful. The next thing that I got was a pair of lamps. So I have one more of these. They're in great condition. They didn't have shades with them, but I got both of them for, I want to say $8 for both, or they might have been $8 a piece. Regardless, um, it was a great deal. This is milk glass, and then it's got the combination with the wood, so they're super mid-century looking, um, just very cool. And I happen to already have a couple of these. The next thing I want to show you guys is this little serving tray and it's got the little cake spatula or whatever you want to call it. The plate was $4 and the little spatula was $0.99. Cents. I just think it's so beautiful and kind of delicate. It's a good size. It's not damaged. It is by the brand Erphila. E-R-P-H-I-L-A is the brand. Who knows? This might be some kind of reproduction piece. I have no idea. I have not looked it up yet. Next up we have some artwork and this is just a framed print but I thought the frame looked very old timey and I love the gold and white combination that it has. The day that I bought this it was half off so I got this for four dollars and any kind of frames that I've picked up that have these little hoops I was kind of thinking that I would use them if I ever do one of those um, picture rail so they, they'll have like the string hanging down that will hold up pictures like that. Um, so I just thought that could be very useful. Next up we have this little fruit bowl or serving bowl. I'm probably going to end up using it as a planter. Um, I got this for $3. The price is still on it inside. It has an opening in the bottom there, um, which is why I probably won't be using it for any type of food unless I put a bowl inside this one, which I could do. Um, and it looks like it says McCoy USA. Once again, just very beautiful blue and white. I love all these little details around the top here. And this one I was very excited about. This is an old brass tray. I can't really read what brand that is, but I'll, I'll add in a close-up of it. I got this for, I think it was $2 at a thrift store. It was a lot darker in color, so I went and polished the whole thing, and it made it really shine, and I just love the way that it looks now. So of course, another blue and white piece. This is a candle holder. I got this for $2 as well. There's some names on the inside, three different names. This might have been locally made or a craft project, I have no idea, but I just think it's still very cute and it was a great deal. So the next thing I want to show you is this rug that I got and this was $8. It's a runner. I'm going to guess that that's about 7 feet long. It's blue. I pretty much love anything blue. So I could not pass that up. So this is the last piece that I wanted to show you guys. This is a painting from 1964 and it is signed, it looks like V.I. Rich. The thrift store had $25 on this. I really wanted to get a couple real paintings for this house, um, whether they be fancy, expensive, or not, and um, this one just kind of stood out to me. I watched it for a while. 
the thrift store had it for a couple weeks at $25 and I just thought, you know, I'd probably pay $15 for that, but I just didn't want to pay $25. I don't know why I'm cheap. <laughs> um, but So finally I went in one day and when I walked in they said the whole store is half off. So this was one of the first things that I grabbed. So I got this for $12.50. It's definitely not perfectly done. Like her eyebrows, they painted with some blue for some reason. It's just their artistic style, I guess. But um, I think it fits the style of the home. And it's already been a conversation starter sitting in my foyer. So now I'll give you guys a few tips if you want to find some awesome stuff like this at your local thrift store. The first tip that I'll give you is find your mom and pop thrift stores. Those people are buying lots of antiques and leftovers from estate sales and a lot of their items are going to be more so hand-picked to where they have things that they want to sell in their stores. Goodwill can be really great and the Salvation Army can be really great and I found great things at both of those places. But the past few years, they've definitely changed in the way that they're becoming more corporate, pricing things higher, and it's hard to find nice old pieces like this in those kind of stores. Places like Goodwill that take donations, you never know what you're going to get in there, which sometimes works out to your advantage and sometimes it doesn't. Some stores I might go to for furniture or clothes or some have better home decor items. And as you get more and more into thrifting, you kind of learn where to get what. The next tip I'll give you is to be patient and check often. Like with this painting, I could have bought it when it was $25 and that would have been totally fine. But I waited and I got it for cheaper and then I was able to buy some other things that I wanted too while I was there. You do have to check often as well. If you know that you can only go there on Saturdays, well that's going to make it kind of hard because all week that store has been picked through. I usually find that a weekday morning is the best time to go. The employees have had time to clean up and put new things out price things and you're not in the chaos of the weekend traffic. You can also ask the employees when they restock things if they're ever going to have sales in their store and just try to get in the know in that way. And the third tip I'll give you is to use your imagination. Something might not be exactly what you want it to be when you see it at a thrift store, but usually with a little bit of love you can make them into something beautiful and something that you do want. I have found plenty of pieces of artwork and prints that have just been in an ugly wooden frame. Not saying this one's ugly, but just using it as an example. If you didn't love this frame, you could easily bring it home and paint it white or black or gold or any color you wanted it to, and then maybe you'll like the look of it more. This is a wooden pair that I found at a thrift store. I think it was 99 cents because it's missing one of the leaves on the top, but you wouldn't really realize that. And I plan to eventually paint this guy white and that will just give it a totally new look. And anything that goes on a shelf like that, little miniature statues or pieces of pottery, you can spray paint anything to make it look brand new again. So that's all the tips that I have for you guys today. I really appreciate you watching my video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!